Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, and in this video I'm going to show you about Google's file type searching. File type searching is an awesome tool for teachers and other people as well. What it allows you to do is really refine your searching. So for example, if I was looking for information on classroom management, if I just typed classroom management in the Google search bar, I could get a variety of things. I could get books on classroom management, websites, Maybe there's a game on classroom management. Um, maybe there's even a movie called classroom management. So you get all kinds of different results. But let's say that I am looking for something particular like a document or a PowerPoint presentation on classroom management that I could actually use. Um, this is where a file type search comes in handy. So what you would do is, here's an example, you would type in your term. This example, the term is classroom management but you don't stop there. Then you type in file type, there's no spaces here, colon PPT. Now PPT is the file extension for PowerPoint. Once you do that, all of your results will be returned um, are just PowerPoints. Now it works for other file types as well. Let's take a look at all the types of files that this works with. You could do it with PDFs. Um, I've, I've bolded the ones that I think are most useful to teachers. So um, PDFs, Excel documents, PowerPoint, Word, and then Shockwave Flash, which I'll explain that later in the video. And then, of course, there's a variety of other ones as well. All right, so um, let's give it a whirl. Let's go to the Internet, and let's try it. So class room management then file type colon ppt and we will hit search and oops looks like I spelt it wrong well I bet it figured out what I wanted I could click here and there we go so um, notice over here on the left hand side it says PPT, PPT, PPT. That means everything over here that is results are all PowerPoints that you could save to your computer. You can tweak them, you can use them um, in any way that you'd like to. Now over on the right hand side are ads, so kind of ignore those. Um, uh, let me show you how this works now. I, if I click on this, it's going to ask me whether I want to open it in, in PowerPoint or if I want to save it. Well, I'm going to hit cancel for a second. Some of these files, you know, particularly PowerPoints, could be pretty large. Um, and I don't want to wait and, you know, it could take a minute or so. Well, I'm a little impatient. So I'm going to click as view as HTML just to get an idea of the content. It doesn't look pretty, but I can look and I can say, wow, oh yes, this is, you know, perfect. This is what I need. So if I take a quick little peek and I decide, yes, I want it, then I can click on it and I can save it to my computer or open it. And again, when you when you um, do that, you can make changes to the PowerPoint and use it as you uh, see fit. Just remember to give credit to the original author. All right, so let's try another one. Instead of PowerPoint, let's try PDF. So I just went up here and I changed the extension. And now notice everything that's returned over here are PDFs. And I can just take a gander at those, click on them, and it's going to open up in, as a PDF. And you can save that to your computer as well. It's pretty slick, isn't it? All right, there we go. Pretty cool stuff. All righty, now I'm going to show you another one. I think I'll just go back to Google, get a better screen here. Um, let's say that you're teaching, um, you know, something in math or something that you would like to get some kind of interactive um, game or object in with your lesson. Try this. Uh, let's say we're teaching fractions, all about fractions, and I want some interactive sort of objects. So do file type SWF. Okay, so fractions, space file type colon SWF. This part right here, no spaces at all, otherwise you'll get some mixed reviews. It won't quite work the way you want. Google search. And everything over here is a flash object. Now, flash objects are just interactive um, 
games or objects that are created and they're on the internet. So let's click like something like this. This is interactive. So what is a fraction? See? Okay, pretty cool. Let's try another one. And we'll go there. Oops, that one didn't work, did it? Oh well, we'll try this one. Come on. There you go. So, I hope that you enjoy learning and utilizing the file type search in Google. I really do think that it is a great tool to use for educators as well as others.